So now we are talking about the next very important characteristic feature uh, during adolescence you know that means reaching to certain uh, maturity level okay which kind of maturity level may be emotional isn't it. So what should I write the heading here intellectual emotional okay what I am talking children I am talking about the last characteristic change or feature okay which can be seen during the adolescence and mental development so I just uh, I have we have discussed this thing isn't it like they grow uh, emotionally also okay they grow intellectually intellectually they are growing there is no doubt okay but you know what I mean to say is uh, the child in this age is most of the time they you know analyze others they always will you know they will like the company of their own groups their friends okay at this time the company of parents is totally avoided okay at this point see there is a phase you know like when they uh, when we talk about childhood a child always uh, will like to be with their parents okay but as the child grows again he maintain little distance with the parents and he will enjoy I mean to say maintain distance means what like there will be he will not be sharing everything with the parents but he would like to share all the things with the friends he will like to take advice and to give advice to the friends ok. So, this thing will be there but again when he grows ok in after certain age you know after uh, uh, maybe 22, 23, 24, 25 when he gets married again what is it again he, li he likes to be there in the family is not it. So, this is the changes now in this period adolescence uh, puberty what is their teens when we talk about they like to be with their own uh, friends ok. So, uh, which kind of development can be seen and they always like you know they analyze something ok they make conclusions they make plans ok they, they dream they have a big dreams. So, all these emotional changes can be seen and even you know they have mood swings which I was talking about sometimes like without any reason they feel lonely maybe depressed sometimes they are very excited very happy. So, all these mood swings can be seen in this stage ok and, and you know the main problem which uh, occurs between the parents and the children of this age is due to the uh, you know privacy like children of this age they want more privacy they want to show that they are separate they are individual they are different from their parents they are different means what not in uh, like uh, face and all this thing they want to show that they are separate individual and they want themselves to be treated as a separate individual ok they will never like uh, they will never like uh, to take advices you know keep on like say you keep on giving advice to them they will soon they will say no uh, like whenever I talk with my students this is a very often what they say like mama does this only mama has no work just mama gives advices ok. But everybody knows that whatever advice but mama is giving is correct but this is a peculiar characteristic feature of this age you know that the child does not want to be with the parents but they want to be more of with them where they want to be in the friends with the friends among the groups ok. So, what are the characteristic of this group children and that is the reason when you know when the child demands more privacy now uh, it is very like you know it is very common and everybody you know uh, every child has got his own smartphones own laptops 99 percent I am talking about ok and own rooms 
so they uh, do not want anybody to interfere in that privacy they want their separate uh, uh, you know they want to prove that we are different we are different individuals we have to be counted differently we cannot be always what you are saying we, we won't be following that so that is the main reason for the difference between the parents and the children at this age because parents know that what child is doing uh, and if he keep on doing all such kind of things he may go to do something he may do something which is not very good at his age okay so the parents keep on warning child they keep on explaining the child and the child what he does he keeps on uh, he his world is different okay his world is quite different where he is quite a, he he takes himself as a quite mature person okay so these all emotional changes these are changes keeps on uh, like you know it uh, all can be seen in any of the uh, child who belongs to this age so i'll just just out few points over here children here the child needs greater degree of freedom then what privacy okay freedom and privacy okay so here the child here means what children here means in this age group okay so here the child needs greater degree of freedom and privacy okay so the child will demand for more privacy he will demand ki you, why you are touching my mobile why you are touching my laptop this is mine okay he won't love to give his things to others uh, just try to read uh, you know uh, if you if your mama says let me allow to read your chats on the mobile will you give you won't give it isn't it why because this is the age when the child doesn't like all this thing because he is going from some other phase okay so here the child needs greater degree of freedom and privacy he undergoes different mood swings okay children what is the meaning of mood swings that means sometimes he may be depressed sometimes happy okay sometimes sad sometimes angry low confidence you know why this low confidence comes you know maybe due to the looks and the physical appearance okay uh, suppose a child is little witish so he'll have that complex oh my color is not fair i'm witish so because of that the confidence falls oh okay uh, see there are also many students who are away from all this thing okay whatever is there is there but they are very smart in studies and these are the things which doesn't you know uh, uh, doesn't affect them but whatever i'm talking about i'm talking about in general 99% about uh, children they have such kind of problems okay in this age so they may have the confidence uh they may lose their confidence maybe because of the pimples maybe because of the color okay so physical appearance uh, makes lot of difference okay so what are the mood swings children maybe sometime he feel very depressed okay so sometime depressed sometime happy sometime sad sometime angry low confidence all these are the uh, mood swings okay now what can be the third point children the third point can be he likes the company of friends rather than family okay then attraction
towards opposite sex. As we have discussed that this is also very normal uh, features which can be seen in the uh, adults in this stage. Okay? So, uh, in this stage the child will always like to be with their friends rather being with their parents okay? and attraction is there between the opposite sex. Okay? So, what else uh, can be there? Like here the children are always you know they analyze okay think dreams make plans okay come to conclusions so all these see you will say that this is done by the uh, elders also they also make plans so but there is a difference in the plans of the elders and the difference in the plans of the okay so there is a difference in the plans of the elders and the plans of the teens okay the plans of the teens are quite fanciful very very fanciful they are not uh, you know very near to the uh, truth okay they are in their own fancy dreams which the life for them is very simple and very different which life actually is not okay so they have their own world they have their own fantasies they have their own uh, do's and don'ts they have their own likes and dislikes and they believe in exchanging of uh, this you no know, ideas Okay, but with whom? In their circle. They won't <laughs> like to exchange their ideas with the parents. Okay. So these all are the characteristic feature which we have discussed. Okay. So what was the first one, children? The first one was about the see in today's lecture what we have studied. First of all, we discussed uh, the various stages, isn't it? When we talk about infancy, infancy, infancy is what children, the period of, of what, when the child is from 0, when the child's age is 0, that means from the birth till 2 years of age, the child can be uh, known as, he is in which state, he is in infancy, okay, where the child learns to sit, talk, walk, move, okay, he understands belongingness, he understands expressions, he understands feeling little bit. Okay? So, after that, after infancy is what childhood, that means from 2 years to 12 years. Here the child goes to school, he becomes more developed, he tries to become more independent, okay? he tries to become uh, you know uh, his own, uh, he uh, tries to create his own aura. You know, like this is mine, this is this is my house, my father, my toys, and all this thing. Okay, he li likes to be more with the parents, more with the family than with the friends. But still, he has his own group, his likes and dislikes. Okay, so after this comes the adolescence. Okay, now different different characteristics can be seen uh, in this uh, different changes, different development can be seen in this stage. Okay, now what are the different features which can be seen? First of all, the first is development of the sexual characteristics. This is a main um, characteristic feature. Sexual organs become more developed. Okay, sex organ becomes more developed. Biologically, a male and a female becomes ready for uh, their body. Biologically becomes ready to reproduce. Okay, then many differences which can be seen uh, in the behavior okay so this we have just it out over here along with that increase in height difference in uh, voice okay then uh, hormones are secreted then uh, the growth of hair which can be there in the boys when we talk about on the like facial hair grow and 
some other internal organs uh, where the body parts where the where the hair can be seen okay so these all are the features these all are the characteristic features which can be uh, like you know uh, observed when the child goes through this phase so the, uh, all these emotional and all this which we have discussed now so these are also a very important part okay it's not only about the physical changes children uh, this is very important point to be uh, to keep this in mind to note this that it is not only that the teens are going through the physical changes it's not only that the only body is going undergoing changes okay it's not only the changes uh, are there no which can be uh, like bodily bodily changes are there but along with that the body the mind the thinking process it all also undergoes change emotionally they are different okay becoming more sensitive so all these are the characteristic features of the adolescents of the teens so now uh, just note this point so that i can move to the next topic now next topic of the same chapter will be discussing about the endocrine glands okay so what are endocrine glands that we are going to talk about please note this out